Hey guys, it has been far too long since I filmed my last products I used up slash empties video, so I felt this video was quite overdue. I have a bunch of stuff, a lot of the stuff you've probably seen in previous empties videos because they're just products that I constantly keep repurchasing and hence finishing up. So I do have some, uh, some repeats, but I also have some new stuff and I actually have a few cosmetic products, which I feel like for me is rare because it takes me forever to get through makeup products because I have so much. But without further ado, let's just jump in. So the first thing I have is a Perfect World from Origins. This is the daily moisturizer that I use. This one has SPF 25. I've already purchased a backup. It's already in my bathroom. I finished a C.O. Bigelow Rose Salve. I usually buy mine at Bad Bath, Bad Bath, no, Bath and Body Works. It's around $5. And I just keep this on my nightstand. And I usually just use it before bed on my lips. I'll put it like on my cuticles or my elbows. Any place I have like dry crack spots, especially on my face. If I have like a dry patch on my face from using um, a product to dry out an acne spot. Um, this is great for that. I've never had any kind of breakouts. Haven't repurchased this, but I would definitely in a heartbeat if I didn't have other products that I'm trying to get through. Also, a hand lotion. I don't know where the cap went. I'm missing a cap. But this is from Josie Marin, and this came in a gift set I think last Christmas time. This is her Whipped Argon Oil Intensive Hand Cream in Warm Vanilla Fig. Awesome hand cream. I don't think it's anything special compared to others that I've tried. It's it's a really good hand cream, but I don't think it's bar none the best one I've ever tried. I really like the scent of it. I like that it's all natural and it definitely obviously left my hands feeling nice and hydrated. Two products from Lush. The Tea Tree Water, which is my toner of choice these days. I've already purchased a full one and I actually purchased a bigger size. That's how much I love it. It's basically just a um, very easy, gentle toner. There's no alcohol in it, so it doesn't dry out your skin. I usually use it after I cleanse my face just to make sure I got all the traces off my skin, skin and put the moisture back in my face. I love this. It has a very, very, very light, subtle scent, and I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a toner that's more gentle on your skin. Also, the Grease Lightning. Um, this is a spot treatment. I won't repurchase this anytime soon. I thought when I was using this in the beginning I was seeing results and then the more and more I would use it I wasn't really seeing results. I'm kind of disappointed so I wouldn't repurchase this one. Another bottle of Josie Marin Argon Oil. This has been my go-to nighttime moisturizer. I absolutely love it. It's natural. It's gentle. It makes my skin feel amazing and I love it. I obviously would repurchase. I have repurchased. Right now I'm using a different one which I'm going to do a whole updated skincare video because that video is overdue as well, but I definitely would repurchase over and over and over again. Another skin item, this was sent to me by First Aid Beauty, it's their Ultra Repair Liquid Recovery. Um, it's basically like one step before your moisturizer, you use it twice a day. I actually got through this very, very quickly. I'm going to do a whole video on First Aid Beauty because I've acquired so many of their products and I want to just kind of do an overview video for the brand, but this uh, did not take me very long to get through at all. Another Cebu cleanser, this is the cleanse, the balancing facial cleanser. I still continue to use this. I have one in my shower right now. I also use the detox, the cleanse and detox bar soap, which I have at my sink side. Sink side? I have it on my sink. Um, I love this cleanser. It's hands down one of my favorite cleansers I've ever tried. Speaking of cleansers, this was another uh, product line that was sent to me to try. The product line is Bella Boo, all that clean skin facial wash and moisture dew. The reason I never did a whole video devoted to these products is I just, I didn't feel like it was worth it. The cleanser was really good. It did a good job. It took my makeup off. The moisturizer was nice, but I didn't love the products so much that I would want to keep purchasing them and obviously tell everyone about it. I believe you can find these sold at Bed Bath & Beyond that have the Harman Drugstore type products. The nice thing about the line is it's free of chemicals and harsh ingredients, parabens, which I love, and it, one of the main ingredients in their products is the sea buckthorn, which is also found in the Cebu, which was kind of why it was enticing to me to try this line because that's one ingredient that I really have seen great results with. But the packaging, it just it it just looks like packaging a 10-year-old would use, like not a 29-year-old. I just it felt very immature to me. even like let me just read you one of the back. This is my fave beauty secret for babelicious skin that's problem-free, lush, smooth, and soft. I don't know. I just feel like it's just very it's just for kids. I dose that kind of is a turn-off for me. Okay. 
I used up the Nioxin scalp treatment. This is the level 5 for normal to thin looking and I used this when I was suffering awfully bad from my postpartum hair loss. Right around the 3 or 4 month mark postpartum my hair was coming out. It was scary. I did a whole video on it. I'll link that in the description box below. But I really feel like this worked um, well to not so much help my hair grow back quickly but I, as soon as I started using this I was noticing less and less falling out. Um, I just really feel like it had good results. I only had to use one bottle. I only went through one bottle. I do have uh, a ton of regrowth now and you can see it like it's just baby hairs and it's whatever but um, I really think this is a great product if you are someone that is postpartum and suffering from hair loss or just suffering from hair loss in general I would give this a try. I think I think it's I think it's a really good product. A bottle of pure acetone. I don't normally use pure acetone. Acetone I always have on hand for glitter nail polish or uh, stubborn textured nail polish that I just cannot get off. I usually get this at Sally Beauty's. I have repurchased this. It's in my bathroom right now. I think it's about under $4 and it works great. Okay, shampoo and conditioner. I used up the Agave Healing Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. Love this. Would repurchase. Plan on repurchasing as soon as the stuff that's in my shower right now is gone because this is probably my most favorite that I've tried in a very long time. I also was sent this shampoo and conditioner from Simply Smooth, which is who I normally get my keratin treatments from. I have not gotten a keratin treatment in over two years just because um, I really didn't feel like I needed one, and even if I did, I was pregnant and now breastfeeding. But this is a new line that they just came out with. It's Magic Potion Shampoo and Conditioner, and um, it's a really great line. They have this and they also have a blowout serum. Blow your hair out yourself at home. They also make one for professionals that you can take into a, your salon and have them do it for you. Again, I think this is a nice shampoo and conditioner. I didn't notice crazy results in my hair, but to be fair, I don't normally take a lot of time blow drying my hair with a round brush and all that. I kind of just do a rough dry and then use a curling iron. I don't know that I gave this a fair shot to really see if it blew my hair dry any differently. Um, I'll link my updated hair routine video if you want to see that and you'll see kind of how I blow it dry. I don't take the time to really style it, but the scent was really nice and it didn't harm my hair. Like I don't feel like it did any harm to my hair by using it. Also, the Moroccan Oil Finish, Luminous Hairspray Finish. I love this. I still have quite a bit in here, but the nozzle, the nozzle is broken. Oh, now it's working. Of course, it's going to make a liar out of me. But the nozzle was broken and I couldn't get product out. It has such a nice scent. The whole Moroccan Oil line, if you're familiar with it, has such a nice scent. And it's a really nice hairspray because it doesn't make your hair really like crispy, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't make it stiff where you can't run your hands through. It's a very, very soft hairspray and it's really nice to just keep everything in place but still look very natural. I love this and I definitely will be repurchasing. One product that I am getting rid of but I did not finish up but I thought I should mention it, it's the by Josie Marin, it's the Argon Infinity Cream Intensive Creamy Oil. Mine has gone off, like it went bad, I don't know why, I didn't have it that long when I go to you know take it out it's just oil it's not like that cream anymore it has a weird consistency so I'm just actually gonna be chucking this into the trash which makes me really sad but I thought that it was worth mentioning and, and you know I feel like sometimes this happens when you get products that don't have parabens in them parabens are preservatives they prolong shelf life this doesn't have it so you know for me to expect a product to last forever or for a year not likely when it's free of that so I don't necessarily blame the product but I thought I should just mention it anyway. I feel like it went off way sooner than it should have even for having no preservatives in it. Another Shiseido cotton pad. Use these all the time. Love them. And now we are on to makeup. So excited. The Chanel Tan de Soleil. I finally finished this. I had this oh, probably two or three years and it took me forever to get through. Um, I love the smell of it. I will miss that. It's basically like a mousse cream bronzer. I really loved this in the beginning and now the more I was using it I feel like it was making my skin look really orange. Never say never. I don't think I would never repurchase this but for right now I'm not really into the idea of repurchasing it for this summer. Alright, the Hourglass Film Noir Mascara. Um, this product I didn't really care for. It was very lengthening, but it wasn't volumizing, which is what I look for in a mascara, so I would not repurchase that. 
One product from Hourglass I would repurchase is the Mineral Primer Veil. I loved this primer. Probably one of the better primers I've ever tried. It goes on feeling like a lotion and it is so, it just makes your skin feel so good. I love that it has a pump and it has SPF 15, which you can't beat. I feel like this is turning into an Hourglass empties. This is the concealer from Hourglass, the Hidden Concealer, and this is in the shade Warm. Another product that went bad. It has the funkiest smell. It smells like plastic. I haven't had it for all that long. It's been in my drawer for a while, but when I started to notice the consistency was a little bit different and then I went to smell it, it was like rancid. So that's really disappointing because it's a really expensive concealer and I did really enjoy it, but for that reason, it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth, so I won't be repurchasing that. One Hourglass product that I will continue to repurchase over and over again is the Diffused Light Ambient Lighting Powder. I finished it. I'm not surprised that I did. I already went out and bought a backup because I cannot get enough of it. Um, it's an amazing finishing powder. It doesn't ever look like you're wearing powder. It's amazing. I love it. I've talked about this in so many other videos. Um, the Buxom Insider Eyeliner. It's just a retractable eyeliner. I liked it. I don't think it was anything special compared to other retractable eyeliners I've tried, but it was good. And also this Urban Decay Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray from Urban Decay. I'm not going to repurchase this yet because I want to try the one by Scandinavia, which technically is probably the same because Scandinavia makes the one for Urban Decay. But I really enjoyed this one from Urban Decay. I used this in a Getting Ready With Me video. It's one of those products that just kind of refreshes and makes your skin like wake up, if you will. I don't always do my makeup right after I get out of the shower. Sometimes it's an hour, sometimes it's two hours. And sometimes I feel like when I go to sit down and do my makeup, my skin feels dry again. And instead of putting on more moisturizer, I put this and it kind of just like, it just kind of like wakes everything up. And it kind of like gives it a moisture boost and I really love it for that. So I will be repurchasing. I just don't know which brand I'm gonna buy. So. So that's everything. Those are all of my empties. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.